courtesy of my favorite streetwear account, Over and Under. Check them out on Twitter, over, spell O-V-R, N U N D R over and under on Twitter. They do. They always covering some of the best news on here. They're covering about the streetwear news here lately. Is this Cortez and Nike drone show spotted in London last night ahead of the up and coming collaboration? This is pretty cool. So Cortez is collaborating with Nike once again. Allegedly, the shoe that they're putting out is another a fourth version of the Air Max ninety five. So they put out, I think that was last year, right? The Air Max ninety five, three colorways. There's another colorway coming out this year, and it's black. I think it's this year. It should be this year with the promo they're doing anyway. So they did a drone light show, which is pretty sick, up in the sky. Um, you got the Cortez logo, the Alcatraz logo with the Nike swoosh on the top. They're looking pretty cool. Oh, get it while it changes. We've also got a video here. That's that's awesome. Look at that. It looks like a swarm of bees or something. That's really fucking cool. So it's like a Nike swoosh, and then it kind of forms into that Cortez and Nike logo. That's pretty cool. Oh, get it while it changes. There you go. You got that one. You got some more images here that features Clint from Cortez himself, which is a really hard image. I'm not going to lie. A very, very fucking hard image of him kneeling or of him crouching in front of the or in front of the Cortez and Nike logo as the logo is up in the sky above the London skyline. Fucking incredible. I'm not going to lie. One of the hardest pictures I've seen in a long time. You see him there fucking mugging it up as well in there obviously looking sick with the a Cortez jacket on there as well I'm not too sure if he's actually wearing the shoe the collaboration I don't think that is but still really really hard picture um and then you've got a video here you of him as well London. come on London and fucking play with us we're fucking back we're back it kind of sounds like Eubank innit a little it kind of sounds like a bit it kind of sounds a bit like Chris Eubank no? fucking fucking come on London and fucking play with us Oh, is it Eubank? I don't know. There's something about his voice that sounds Eubanky. We're fucking back! We're back, baby! We're fucking doing it again, man! We're going round two, man! We're going round two! So, yeah. Looking pretty sick. Looking, 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 looking pretty sick. And then we've got some more details here of the shoe. So, this is the, this is the shoe allegedly meant to be dropping. I'm not sure if this is a Photoshop, if this is a Photoshop mock-up, or if this is what we're actually going to get. I'm not really too sure about it entirely, but regardless, it looks pretty sick. So it says here, courtesy of over and under, Cortez and Nike Air Max 95 in a tall yellow, $190. So I'm assuming, you know, the UK price would be the same. Change, change, just change the dollar um, to UK. So I'm assuming it would be 180 190 standard and allegedly dropping holiday 2024, which is around this time. So we probably should be seeing them before the end of the year. As you can see here, kind of taking the same style as they did with the previous 95 collaboration. So you've got an all leather upper with some mesh on the top where the eyelets are. And then you've got the bubbles um, in this orange, yellowy type of type of colorway, um, which is really nice. Um, I'm also a fan of these because I guess, you know, you don't really find, you don't really see a lot of leather Air Max 95s. Most Air Max 95s are either in suede, mesh, nubuck. But you don't really get a little of 95s that are even in leather. So this is a really special, special, special release. I'm not going to lie. Um, and also, I love the addition of the Cortez logo here on the front, embroidered at the front of the toe box. Because this reminds me of, you know, like standard um, Air Max 95s with the kind of brown box that would always have the, the swoosh at the front of the toe. And that would always kind of tell you it was a limited edition or it was like a Nike that you could only purchase in like Japan or something. So I love that they did a flip. Instead of having the Nike swoosh here, he has his C logo with the star at the bottom there. And obviously you see the mesh here. The mesh at the top near the eyelets is a little bit more wider than what you'd usually see. If anything, it's less mesh and less and more like a net design, which I really like. And then it's got this like trim around it. That's almost new bucky. That's really cool. The lining on the inside of the shoe is like this black and white camo or black and gray camo. And then you've got regular 95 laces, which I love personally. I'm not a fan of the mountain climber type laces thing people have, but they do have drawstring, which is a weird combination. 
So you have regular tubular laces that you'd get in 95s, but you have a drawstring like to kind of like pinch it together like a with the jacket, which is a weird way to kind of tie your shoes up, I think, um, especially in the 95s, but still I'm with it. And obviously you have the big bubbles here that are in yellow as well, which is really nice because, you know, you would know about back in the day, discolored bubbles were something that would happen all the time if you had your shoes in the box for too long without any kind of gel capsules and shit. Um, the, the, sometimes the bubbles would kind of, you know, um, yellow and um, turn a different color and stuff. So that's a pretty cool little nod there. Um, all black. So I think I think these will be really popular, even though the other colorways were, because it's an all black shoe. People are going to go crazy for them. And they've also got the little detail of the Nike swoosh there on the back of the hair as well. But yeah, really a really cool collaboration. Really cool colorway. Um, I will be attempted to get a pair. Oh, I didn't actually notice. They actually got a Cortese written here on the side. That's quite cool. So you've got Cortez here on one side and you've got Nike on the other side, which is pretty cool. There's also some coordinates, some coordinates here on the back. I'm not too sure if that's going to be tying into the drop because Cortez do like to do these surprise drops where they put coordinates out and kids have to run there, queue up and they can be able to buy the shoe. So I'm not too sure if the coordinates on the heel are tied into where the shoe drop will be. I'm not too sure. But either way, it looks pretty sick. And I'm assuming the heel area is probably 3M as well. So that's a nice little hit. So it's all 3M. So when you're walking around and someone has the flash, you can probably see the numbers and the logo stand out as they pop out down the back too. So really eager to see them when they drop. Can't wait to see them. Big up, um, what you call it, Cortez. Love what they're doing. And I'm eager to see the drop. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see if there's going to be more than just the shoes, if they'll also include some clothing. So I guess we'll have to wait and see when that information is available. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, the picture itself is just so hard so fucking hard man like really really one of the best pictures i've seen in a while and i'm liking a lot of these nike collaborations where they're putting a lot of money into the marketing and the promotion for them you know just dropping the shoe you know i kind of like this sort of stuff and i'm sure they're going to do a big activation as they always do maybe a party i don't know so i really do like this i think this is fucking sick so big up Cortez, big up nike can't wait to see the shoe when it eventually does drop fucking 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 sick really 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 cool I like it, I like it, I like it.